Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is JavaScript Top 100 Coding Interview Questions and Answer Series. In today's episode, the question is, given a number, how do you convert it into an exact decimal points to the right side? Here, usually the interviewer would throw you a number with long decimal points and will expect you to convert it to an exact decimal points that they will tell. For example, they can say, I want till two decimal points, I want till three decimal points to the right side. Now, especially this is helpful and useful if you are working in a banking insurance kind of a project where you don't really round off the numbers, right? Because every cents matter there. So these are some of the things that they would definitely throw you, especially for a beginner or an intermediate kind of a job uh, profile. So let's go ahead and see the answer. This is question number 40 on the series. Before we get started coding with the answer, I'll request you to get the ebook with all these JavaScript coding questions that are frequently asked. These questions will help you improve your coding logic as well as help you become better developer. You can get the book at arctutorials.gumroad.com. If you're having any problems in accessing the book, please write to me at surya.aradhya at gmail.com and I'll be able to help you. Thank you. All right, so today the question is convert a given number into exact decimal points to the right side. Now here, the interviewer is trying to see if you know a method called two fixed, right? So what does two fixed do? Two fixed will help us, let's say you have a long decimal points to the right side. Two fixed will, when you provide an integer number to it, it would give you that exact decimal points. Right. So the approach is simple. The method, there is a pre-built me method that we'll use. It's called two fixed. Okay. Let's go ahead and see that in hands-on. I'm going to throw in a quick script and throw in a variable. Right. So you can say const, um, say number and throw any number that you like and throw any number of decimal points. So now let's say this is the number that's given to you as an input. The expected output is 5465.34 right i want up to two decimal points so what you would do is here you will write num dot if you see there's a value uh, method called two fixed okay now using which you can define the number of um, fraction digits that you would want right so let's say if i say three the expected output is four five four six five dot three, four, five, up to three decimal points, right? These are some of the must know kind of a methods, especially for a developer, because all of this you would be using on a regular basis. You don't have to really go ahead and break your head in doing it. All of that are built in you, but you should be aware of all these built in methods. All right. So if you see here now, we are getting up to three decimal digits. Now let's change it to say four and see. So now we have up to exact four decimal numbers. Very useful uh, method, especially when working with a, a client or a project where, which involves calculations or number uh, crunching work, you will find this method often used. Okay, I hope it's clear, simple, straightforward, but lot of times overlooked. I'm trying to cover all the basics as well as advanced in this particular ebook. Make sure that you get it. You can get the book at arctutorials.gumroad.com. If you are having any trouble accessing the book, write to me at surya.aradhya at gmail.com or drop me in the comment section. Thank you so much for joining. I'll see you in the next episode.